Politics now. A sitting U.S. senator who has already been criticized for racism has suddenly taken up the cause, seemingly, of white nationalists being able to serve in the U.S. military. In our radio interview this week, Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama had quite the flaming hot take. Democrats are attacking our military, saying we need to get out the white extremists, the white nationalists, people that don't don't believe in, in our agenda as, as uh, Joe Biden's agenda. You mentioned the Biden administration trying to prevent um, white nationalists from being in the military. Do you believe they should allow white nationalists in the military? Well, they call them that. I call them American. Now, on first blush, Senator Tuberville seems to be taking up the cause of white nationalists, people, people who believe in building a white-centric state. And he seems to be arguing they deserve to be armed and trained and to serve in the U.S. military. Tuberville's office has since attempted something of a cleanup effort, releasing a statement to Alabama.com saying, quote, Senator Tuberville's quote that is cited shows that he was being skeptical of the notion that there are white nationalists in the military, not that he believes they should be in the military, unquote. Today, Tuberville talked to CNN off camera and said, quote, here's the problem. Democrats portray all MAGA Republicans as white nationalists. That's not true. We've got a lot of great people in the military that are MAGAs. That's what I was talking about, unquote. All right, let's break this down. Three points. First, no one, no one in the military is worried about MAGA Republicans serving in the U.S. military. That would be ludicrous for any number of reasons, especially given the fact that so many service members are conservative. Point two, obviously most service members do not fit the definition, but there is a white supremacist problem in the U.S. military, according to the U.S. military, in study after study. And there's a long list of actual incidents and domestic terrorists who fall into this category. Point three, Senator Tuberville's attempt to distance himself from seeming to be standing up for the rights of white supremacists might be easier to believe if last fall Senator Tuberville had not made one of the most blatantly racist statements we've heard from a U.S. senator in perhaps decades, he falsely suggested that Democrats like crime and he smeared black people as criminals. Take a listen. Some people say, well, they're soft on crime. No, they're not soft on crime. They're pro-crime. They want crime. They want crime because they want to take over what you got. They want to control what you have. They want reparation because they think the people that do the crime are owed that. Bullshit. They are not owed that. Senator Tomerville there saying that Democrats like crime and they want reparations, which is the term for payments made to individuals who are descendants of slaves, because they think that people that do the crime are owed that. That's just racism. Tuberville not only defending the right of racists to serve in uniform, he's actively keeping, right now, high-ranking military officials and officers out of uni uniform. Senator Tuberville is currently protesting new Pentagon policies implemented in the military that provide leave for troops or their families who need to travel to get an abortion because they are in a state where it is not permitted. There are currently 196 military nominations pending in the Senate. Generals, admirals, 604, I mean, sorry, 64 three- and four-star positions that will need to be filled soon, including the chief of the staff of the Army, the director of the National Security Agency, commander of U.S. Cyber Command. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin this week calling it a major national security risk, blasted Tuberville in a letter writing, quote, without these leaders in place, the U.S. military will incur an unnecessary and unprecedented degree of risk at a moment when our adversaries may seek to test our resolve, unquote. This also, of course, has a trickle-down effect on other military officer nominations, which in turn impacts regular military service members and their families who are moving to new installations for new assignments. The guy doing this, the guy holding up all these generals and admirals and colonels from being promoted and from the military for being ready for whatever threats the U.S. faces, Senator Tuberville, to sum up, he says black people are criminals. He says white nationalists are Americans. And I guess for Senator Tuberville, the year is 1843.